so what you see here before you is my first attempt at a lap book, which from the date on it, I made um, March 25th, 2019. And that's as far as I got with it. I It's actually like a protocol or the very first one I've ever made. Did I already say that? I probably did. So it's just simple. But I thought we would make one together. Got an envelope there and like a little spot, tuck spot and some journaling paper. Another envelope here with a tuck spot and behind it our pocket. Same here. I could probably do something then different than the envelopes. I'm just not sure what yet. And then some little tiny envelopes here. And then, so it's got lots of pockets in it. <laughs> and then you flip this open and it's got some pockets here. Um, I like the pockets with the tabs. And on here, these flip out and they just have little tags in them. And then one of these like accordion style envelopes, whoops, can't even see it. <laughs> accordion style envelopes there. So I thought we would make one together. It's going to be a series, of course. Um... Hold on one second. Yeah, it will be a couple parter, but I quite I kind of like doing a series of uh, videos and um, so yeah, I kind of like doing them. So I just used um as for my base, I'm just gonna use some paper that's from this book here. Um. This just has, it talks about gardens in Britain. It does have some colored pictures in it. Just a few, but I like the pages because they're nice and sturdy. But for this, I did end up gluing two pages together. And I looked up and down and all around for my uh, masking tape because that's what I was going to use to connect my um, pieces together. But I can't find my masking tape, so I'm just going to use some washi. And instead of making it this tall, I'm just I'm going to um, do my sheets from end to end instead of side to side. So this right here is about seven inches. So I have three of those that I'm gonna tape together with some washi tape. So we can get that started. And I'm not going to use a ruler too much. I might use it a little bit, but I'm just going to eyeball it. So how is everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you have a little bit of time to get into your craft room and create something, even if it's just something small. Just to get in there and get your mojo going, you know. And like for me, and I'm sure many other people, it's like therapy. So I should cut that first. But I'm going to be a winding. Yeah, I'm going to cut it first. <laughs> I know I have them nice and lined up, and I just hope they stay lined up. Okay. So 
So we'll put the third one on. Get them nice and lined up. And on this one, we'll cover the the, this paper I'm thinking I'm thinking that's what I would like to do who knows what what will come of it once I get going with it but I would like to cover it with some pretty paper no oh I hate when that does that I got it. It all rolled up on itself. So I'm going to do that to the other side too. Because I want them to um, be doubly, doubly. Boys, I... I guess I like making up words. I never realized that about myself. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so let's just tape those sides too. If I can find the end. Okay. I'm trying to see how we are on time. Okay, we're at seven minutes, seven something right now. Okay, so Oh, yeah, they are going to fold nicely, but I don't know if that's where I want them folded. So, let's see. What's our next step? Let me figure that out. Okay, so our next step is eyeballing the fold where I want the first fold to go. And I, I did that already. And that's about, let's see. about six and a half inches so that's our first fold that'll be our first so then I'm gonna take it and turn it all around and do another fold and I'm gonna try to get that now do I want that's the other thing do I want a little spine and I think I do so let me get my uh, scoreboard. Okay, so when I put this up to zero, our first fold is at six and a half. Our second um, score mark I'm going to make is going to be a half inch, and we'll put that at seven inches. So, so it's going to be a half inch. That might be too much, but... Um, I think after I get it all filled up, we're going to need that. So I just want to score that real good without tearing through it. So there's our little spine-like thing. I 
I actually want it folded this way. And I'm going to uh, reinforce that to where it's going to be on the fold. Or I'm going to reinforce the, those folds with some fabric. Or some Tyvek if, if I can find some. Okay, so that means that the next fold is going to be at 6 inches. With this all folded fold it up like this whoops no it's not <laughs> it's gonna be um, the mark going towards the seven it's say you're at the half mark the six and a half it's the very next indentation after that sorry I don't know my ruler like I should so we're gonna score that right there So I'm going to put that like that. All right. And then, which way do I want to go with that? I want to go around like this to the back, I think. <laughs> this might be a total mess, you guys. This might be a total wreck. And you'd be like, what is she talking about? Well, I'm kind of doing, I don't know what I'm doing. But I'm trying. Maybe I can get credit for that. <laughs> All right. So I want it like that. And, okay. I want it, okay. I want it to fold in back in on itself and then I want it to come back out if that makes sense so I have to figure out where I want to score that or if I'm just gonna I don't want it right up to the spine Maybe I'll just do it that way. I'll just fold it, you guys. It ended up up to the spine, but this is a learning process, so I'll keep in my mistakes, too. All right. Okay. So our last fold was folding it up to our little spine so it looks like this and then the next thing I'm going to do is fold it like this so that I'm even with this fold and I'm going to try to keep it as straight as possible Okay, I think we got it, ladies. We got our folds. <laughs> that was, I think, the hardest part. So it will come open like that. It will open like that. And then it will open like that. So a couple different ways. And we have a little spine so that it will hold the thickness once we get out all the pockets and some notebooks and stuff added in. So. The next thing I want to do is put our, I have some ribbon here. I'm going to put along the spine. So right about 
there. This is a new, brand new bottle of uh, Aliens. Okay, so our spine will be nice and reinforced so it doesn't grip. So we'll let that dry. Or should we do the other side too? I think we should do the other side. All right, so I'm going to let that dry. When it's dry, I'll come back. We might have to do our folds again, but that's all right. So I'm just going to leave it there and let it dry. While that's drying, I just thought I have other folds too. What was I thinking? So I'm going to reinforce these folds too with a little bit of washi tape. Just any old random washi tape because it'll probably be covered up anyways. So right about there looks good. I mean, we're running low on time too. Um, so if this ends abruptly, um, it's because I wasn't paying attention. But that's the only step I'm going to do until I check the camera again, is uh, cover these. This, whoops. And then I'm going to do the other side. It's 
So I'm not sure if I can film 20 or 25 minutes right now as I can't remember because I always try to cut it off at least at like 19 minutes. There's a fold there, right? Yes. I could barely see it. Okay, and there's one more here. I've been trying so hard not to sniffle, you guys. I just, I can't help it. I have such bad allergies. It's awful. Okay. All right. So we'll let that all dry and I'll come back in another video and we'll do the next steps. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.